Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today, guys, we're looking ahead because we need to get prepared now for Team of the Year because EA actually surprised us yesterday with how long this versus team is going to be in packs. And this game is not as long as we usually think, which means the Team of the Year festivities might be starting just a couple days sooner. And there could be SBCs today that make some of the cards we want to invest in actually start to go up so we need to get looking at the market and watching prices today to get ahead of the game for what's to come later this week if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's go over yesterday's content and let's just talk about the team first of all this is versus fire and ice team number two and i was looking at this team thinking about last week's team one it's kind of about the same i thought it was better at first there are some really nice cards in here but there's also some that are just kind of mid as well and actually just looking at this graphic right now it shows alex tellez has a center mid and a left back card and i did not see alex tellez the entirety of yesterday on this game is he actually in packs can i find alex tellez really fast here and search him up alex tellez special card there are none on the market, but yet on this screen, and maybe even the loading screen, it shows an Alex Tellez. His ice card looked like it was going to be a midfielder with 90 pace, and his fire card is a left back with block plus with 90 pace. That's the first time I've seen that card. Interesting, EA. We have a little situation. If you packed a gold Alex Tellez, they should be giving you compensation. And uh, yeah, that's something interesting to look at. But regardless, we'll go past that and look at the rest of the team. At the moment, we have some pretty low prices and some pretty high prices. Guys, these cards are rare, as expected, right? Not a lot of people are opening packs. Yes, EA are running lightning rounds, like they run the 84 times 10s, the 86 pluses. They've been running a lot of the store packs yesterday, but these cards are still rare. Rashford, 2.6 mil. Rodri, 835k. He was just under 800,000 coins. Uh, the Ice Rodri is really expensive 1.4 mil with that press proven playstyle plus and some better stats felix the center forward one i think is the better one with the trivella um you know richarlison is super cheap coman coman's a really interesting one uh with the three star weak foot pinged pass plus not many players have that playstyle plus but he's got it sanchez center attacking mid with the five star weak foot and then sanchez striker has got the five star skills with flare plus wish they would have done a better playstyle plus there for him overall it's an okay team. Again, a lot of the prices right now are expensive. I think they will end up dropping off today, later in the day on Saturday. And yeah, like we said, they're still running the lightning rounds right now. They're trying to get that bag. The 84 times 10s are out. That's affecting fodder as expected. Um, but one thing we didn't expect yesterday was for them to drop a 350k pack that was tradable. An 86 uh, guaranteed times two, but 100 rare golds with 286 plus, I guess is the better way to say it. It's tradable, guys. 13% chance of a fire or ice player and a 51% chance of a team of the week. This almost feels like EA is trying to get people to buy a big expensive store pack that's tradable. And they're trying to supply golds and team of the weeks on the market. Because that's a 50% chance for a team of the week. And a lot of people are going to buy this probably because it is tradable. That's going to supply team of the weeks a little bit on the market and golds as well. So we're going to take a look a bit more at golds and fodder, of course, in the video. But this team... It's okay. Be careful with price drops today. I remember last Saturday, like Ramos went from 1.4 mil down to like 900K. I would imagine that Rodri, you know, uh, Rashford, Rudiger, even Tamori. Tamori seems really expensive. Felix as well. Those guys are going to drop off today. So just be careful there. Let's get into objectives. And there's not a whole lot to talk about with objectives, but there was yet another player inside of here that is a storyline player. It's Jeremy Boga. And evidently, I have got myself this whole thing almost completed, except I need to win five matches with three League One players in my team. Not a bad card. Um, one, two stock in the club for maybe a future Evo, although he is 87 rated. Uh, he's got left wing and striker positions on him and Trivella plus. So decent card, finesse shot as well. And we have the daily play completionist back once again uh that is nice to see that that is back and you only have to do it three times but again that works its way into the whole conversation about this promo being shorter guys this is a short week of cards in packs and we'll talk more about that let's go to evolutions because we had a new evo actually two new evos yesterday too um and they weren't really let's say this they were not as advertised or maybe as people in the community were expecting right yesterday we had a leak before content that there was going to be a weak foot and a skill move upgrade evolution upcoming to this game and of course when you see a leak like that with no requirements your brain goes 
who's in my team that could use a weak foot or a skill move upgrade that could be upgraded, right? But then you look at your team and you're like, wow, these cards are way too high rated. There's no way EA is going to let us upgrade like 90 rated cards and just, oh, hey, here's a free skill move boost, right? Well, what they're doing with this is they're making it a little bit lower rated. And especially for the skill moves, you can only go three star or below up one. But for the weak foot, you can go from four star to five star. So that's really cool that you can do the five star weak foot from this. This is a really good set of evolutions for if you're doing a chain Evo, you're taking somebody who's silver or non-rare gold or even a rare gold and boosting them up into a higher level player with multiple evolution combinations. This is a perfect, perfect thing for that. We went in this in depth on the second channel like we did last week with a couple of the evolutions as well. I'll leave a link to that video right up here. You can catch it after I finish this video. Uh, there's a lot to look at with this, and there are some pretty insane cards. If you've wondered why Bradley Barcola is on the top of Footbin, it's because this guy has so many insane Evo combinations with the weak foot, with the skill moves, with the cut inside, and the finisher Evo. He looks cracked, and he's got PSG links, and he can go four-star, five-star in some combinations. So, of course, he looks pretty insane. But a lot of these Evo cards you see, like, um, downvoted, right, for these Evo um, that were dropped yesterday. I get it, right? I get it because it's not something that's super crazy meta. But I'm actually a pretty big fan of those evolutions because they are really easy to get done as well. So make sure you check out that vid on the second channel. Yesterday, SBCs, the last part of content we haven't covered yet. There was a lot going on yesterday, actually, especially because we had not one, but two Player of the Month's release, first of which is Solanke. Premier League Player of the Month, it was released as expected. Yo, those EA content tweets, I don't know if it's because the new year, they're trying to throw us off. There was nothing said about Premier League Player of the Month or Serie A Player of the Month, and they both dropped. So, hey, I don't know, man. They We went with the schedule. We guessed in yesterday's video that he was going to drop, and he did. Power Header Plus, Aerial, Acrobatic, Power Shot. This man looks like an absolute tank with 92 strength, 99 stamina, 99 heading accuracy, and really good shooting stats as well. They gave him a four-star weak foot high medium. If you need somebody who can run fast, get in behind on a lengthy, it was mostly lengthy, with, again, the really good jumping, the heading accuracy, six foot two. If you want a cheap SBC striker, it's going to get up in the air and head balls down uh, off of corners. That's a great card for you, and it's pretty cheap. Doesn't even require an inform. That's nice. And then we also had Captain America, Player of the Month. Now, personally, I'm pretty excited for this, and I think the price is good. 180, um, one team of the week with 83, 84, and 85 rated squads, it comes in right around 100,000 coins. If you're like Nate, go look at the Evo version of Pulisic. It's better. I hear you, but I think this is actually the best version of Pulisic in the game. The ball control play styles that he has, quick step plus with 97 acceleration. I'm not trying to convince you to do this card. I'm just saying for the time span that it is out the next 30 days, just get in the club, all right? That card is going to be insane dribbling-wise, and I think the high medium work rate changes are the biggest part of this. His uh, gold base is medium-medium. That's going to be a really nice card for Lynx and maybe a potential Evo in a month or two if they allow us to evolve a wing or player from the right or the left to give them some shooting and some passing. That's what his card needs. Really good card, though, in my opinion. Really solid price. So those are our two Play of the Month SBCs. The big SBC is, of course, the 87-plus Bay Centurions Thunderstruck player pick that came back. I opened up some uh, couple packs yesterday, and I need to go buy a couple of Informs or do the Inform uh, player pick that was re-released because I need two Team of the Weeks and some FUDA to get that one done. A lot of people were doing that yesterday. It's got some of your higher tier 86, 87, 88 fodder as expected up. And that fodder has actually held its price pretty well too. Um, now the big player SBC yesterday is Gavi. And there are two versions, two versions of Gavi. Which one's the best one? Well, let's first start off with the price. They're both 235,000 coins and they're heavily, not heavily downvoted, but like mostly downvoted, which I think I don't know, man. I think this card, a lot of people look at it and they say, oh, I already have De Young, right? Or I already have Hullet or Zidane or something like that. And they say, this card isn't good enough. I understand that point of view. If you have somebody in your midfield who's better than this already, then okay, this one isn't for you. But for those of us who, or who maybe don't or you just want to try out a Gavi card, this is a really solid SBC. For 200,000 coins, it's pretty easy to craft. It's three squads. And I think the ice version is the better one to go with for the long term. You've got cam, center mid, left wing, and the incisive pass plus. I remember using incisive pass plus with flashback Kevin De Bruyne from the start of the game. Such a beast card with the passes that he can make. His passing is incredible. The five-star weak foot. He's got long ball, tiki taka, rapid, flare, first touch, relent. Like, he's got some really good traits for the card that he is. The biggest probably 
bad part about the card is the composure. 80 composure, and his shooting's not too good as well. But how often are you going to be shooting with Gavi? This is a card that you're going to be used to pass the ball in and throughout the midfield, find players down the wing. 98 short pass, 96 long pass with 97 vision. His passes are going to be crisp. So, I mean, if this card fits your team and it's one that you want to do, go ahead and go for it. I love the ice version. I think it is the better version. Uh, but the fire version looks better, right? Come on. That dynamic image with the colors of the kit and the fire design is mint, man. I'm so disappointed that this dynamic looks better and that this one just looks better. First touch plus play style here. I just feel like it's not as useful as the incisive pass. Of course, um, he still actually he doesn't have incisive pass on this card. Just kidding. He's only got Tiki Taka. This one's more for dribbling for sure. But I feel like they needed to give him a bigger pace boost on this one. If they were going to make him more of like a cam with five star skills, like why didn't they give him like 87 pace or something here? So that's a good SBC. I do believe that we saw some rises on some, not all, of the links to Gavi. I was able to sell my Araujo yesterday for 417. Um, Cancelo, I sold in the hype. Rafinha, I sold a little bit later. Guys, the market, with yesterday's content being nothing spectacular and just solid, the market's doing very good. Uh, like, let's check Rafinha really quick because I know some of you guys invested in some of these cards. And uh, since the SBC is a low price for Gavi, and it's a it's a very popular player, like you can see, he's still 330,000 coins. That is up like 30K for him. I haven't checked out Alho since I sold him, uh, but he was over 400K for a predominant part of the evening. Right now, he's back down just a little bit for 400,000 coins flat. Uh, Cancelo, I sold before the content drop, but I think he was headed back up to like 320 or 330 just because of those links. Okay, right now he's like 310. So yeah, those cards did pretty decent with the links. And then the cards that went out of packs with versus, and ice, versus Fire and Ice Team 1, look at Trippier flying. 335, Ramos is up, Kamavinga is up. Some of these were a little higher yesterday, actually like right after the content drop. Firmino's getting a little bit low. Actually, 358 is kind of low for him. But you can see yesterday, a lot of these cards went up right around or after content. Not all of them, but some of them. You go to the Ice Team as well. You've got um, you got Kamavinga at 250. Wow, this Upamecano is 400k. Sun is a million. Trippier is going up. Neymar's cards, Ice and Fire, are up as well. And then, of course, if you go to the Winter Wild cards, these were incredible to trade with. The market was great yesterday. I bought Shearer for 163, sold him at 187, first listing. Um, let's see, Goretzka is up. Adiemi had a really really crazy spike yesterday like i think people are doing malin and they need somebody to link to malin so he was 220 he went to almost 300k and then was all the way back down here at 205 i picked him up here sold him at 227 and he's been kind of low 200s but that's a card that i think will be good to trade with maybe today as well renato sanchez we could go through and look at like all of the winter wild cards teams team of the group stage cards Anything that was out of packs genuinely did pretty good yesterday. Anything that was meta and especially lower budget stuff. Not everything, but a lot of the lower budget stuff did pretty good. The market feels, again, like healthy. It's like, wait, team of the year is coming in, in four or five days? Like at least the hype for it is? Like why is the market not showing it? But hey, you know what? If we're trying to make coins right now and get ready um, to get our coins as high as we can for team of the year, that's not a bad thing. So enjoy the market doing this while it is because... Low key, I, I don't think it's going to last too much longer, guys. This is probably the last couple of days where you're going to see prices doing good things, right? Fluctuations happening, cards going up and down, moving on the market, and, and people wanting to buy and sell cards and actually having weekend league demand. I think we're going to be getting towards the end of that time. So honestly, you see me almost liquid. I've got a couple of cards here still on my transfer list that I'm flipping. But um, I'm thinking about starting to get out of some of this stuff, man. Starting to get my coins back and ready to go for what um, we'll be doing this next couple of days, which is going to be getting ready for some fodder investing. We've been talking about it. You're like, Nate, dude, you talk about fodder every day, the most important part pre-team of the year. It is. But that's why we got to talk about it today again, because yesterday changed our plans a little bit, honestly, because as you can, well, you can't see it. Again, it's behind the camera. But on the loading screen, you might notice that the FC versus Fire and Ice Team 2 are going out of packs on Tuesday. This is a short week promo, guys. Week 2, with the voting ending Monday and these cards going out of packs Tuesday, is a short week. And that tells me that right when these cards go out of packs, and maybe even on Monday, EA is going to start the pre-team of the year kind of like SBCs and objectives. They're going to start like the team of the year warm-up series 
type of vibe. And I think that's going to really start to transition things on the market as well when it's like really closing in that, okay, it's about to be team of the year. But that's why we have to prepare and get ready today. All right. So basically, Fire Nice ends on Tuesday. I wanted to point that out because that's, again, the countdown for the cards and packs. These cards are going to be super, super rare. So that's going to be something to remember too as we head out of, um, let's say, as we head out of this promo into team of the year like these fire and ice cards especially from team two are going to be really rare and something to probably look at in the team of the year crashes and as we have movements on the market just to kind of put that in the back of your mind that these guys are rare but with this coming ahead what do we need to look out for and what specifically do we need to look out for well on tuesday when those cards go out of packs we're talking early ahead of time now we're looking for these sbcs to come in now last year it was a little bit different than they did two years ago. I'm looking at FIFA 22. The week before Team of the Year, there was a legit promo that was set aside called Team of the Year Warm-Up Series. Last year, there was just like a part of Centurions that was going on. And that's kind of how it looks this year. But looks like, again, the promo versus is ending early. And they're going to start pre-Team of the Year stuff. It's those 83 plus and the 85 plus guaranteed position SBCs we've been talking about that are going to end up being dropped. These are the SBCs that we need to be stocking our clubs with fodder for very soon. And the reason why we need to do it pretty soon is because starting today, SBCs have been dropping on Saturdays the past couple of weeks that have been making this sort of fodder go up. Remember the 83 times 10. Remember the 84 times 5. In the last two weeks, those have both dropped on Saturdays. A little bit of a trend. Now, watch this be the Saturday where EA don't do it and fodder stays low for an extra day or two. You know, that's probably going to happen because we're expecting their, them to keep following their plan. But with them not following their plan, what you'd want to do today is really start to get your club stocked with anything that is 82, 83, and above. Specifically, the 83s and the 84s, guys. Now, I know that 83s have dropped off in price. I'm looking at some of them right now. Like, uh, Jekko is like 900 coins. So, they are literally minimum price. That is minimum price for 83s. That are like, get them on bid for 850, right? 900, you know, they're kind of not sitting there for 900. But you can get them on bid for 850 for sure. Buy some of those, put it in your club. This really isn't necessarily an investment, but if you have any desire to stack these packs, which will be probably one of the highest percentage chances of you being able to pack a team of the year from a certain uh, position, right? The attackers, the midfielders, and defenders, men's and women's would be included in this, by the way. Another reason to do them. These are going to be your best chances to pack a team of the year. I remember in FIFA 22, people were opening these packs you know, at the beginning of team of the year where they released the attackers first, then the midfielders, then the defenders, you can also open these packs on those days instead of having to wait until the full team is out if you wish to do so. And people are packing like team of the year Jorginho's and KDB's out of the 83 plus and the 85 plus midfielder pack, like before team of the year really feel like it started with all the cards and packs. These are worth doing, but they will drain coins off the market and they will make fodder rise. So all you have to do is just get prepared, right? I'm not going to invest in this to make coins off of fodder because I also remember during like Black Friday this year when everybody invested in fodder and then it didn't move and we were just like, what the heck, man? Um, and you know, that sort of thing happened. EA is going to try to combat fodder prices going up as much as they can, but I think there's going to be so much demand this week. Every year is a week where fodder prices do rise. I think it's a must buy at least for your club, right? So 83s for 850 on bid is fantastic. Um, 84s for under 2k. They never really went, even with the 84 times 10s, they never really went, went below 2000 coins. They didn't go back to like 1.6k where they were at their absolute lowest and all that stuff. Like I was hoping that they would, but for 2000 coins or probably a little bit less than that on bid, like you can see Lukaku here at 1.8. Um, you're probably a lot of bids here at 1.8 for a guy like Lukaku. There's a 1.9. Anything 2,000 coins and below is a great price to club stock 84s in your club. Those are going to be needed heavily for those SBCs. And I would also shout 85s if you can get like 5,000 coins on bid, which is very possible. Now, again, between today, early hours, between tomorrow, depending on what comes out, you've got a day or two probably to stock this stuff. That's why we're talking about it early, right? Because you have a little bit of time to get prepared. But... I just want to get you guys on that officially. Like, this is the time to get those in your club. They can't go much lower, right? We've seen them a little bit lower than this, but, like, they're not going to go much lower with the SBCs that are upcoming. And, once again, with nobody opening packs, 
Look at 87s. Nobody opening packs. The Icon pack refreshes. These are up to 15K. 88s are up about 1,000, 2,000 a card, 2 to 22,000 coins. 86s are 8.8K. I mean, maybe you could club stock one or two of these in the club as well. The only SBC that would require, require some of the higher rated stuff would be an 85 plus. Um, they might require a higher squad. They also could require informs. And a lot of people are investing here too. And we continue to talk about informs all the time. Informs yesterday didn't move that much. They moved a little bit. They're currently just around, around and just under 32K. I think people are saying that they want to buy informs for less than 31,000 coins or less than 32K. And I think that, again, you're looking at this from a standpoint of I want to buy one. I want to put it in my club and I want to be stocked for um, those SBCs that may require informs when they come out. So that's what I would be doing if I were you. I'm not going all in on an investment here because especially right before team of the year, I'm going to be a little bit more safe with my coins and try to trade in the market where I feel more comfortable personally than with fodder. But if you're all in on informs and you think they're going to go crazy this week, more power to you. They could definitely rise back up and they could, they could, this could be a 40 K week for informs maybe, right? Last week they did go to about 39,000 coins for one day. We're probably getting another icon pack or something tomorrow on Sunday. So there is potential, right? There's hundred percent potential. And the one reason I say informs as well, and maybe start to get a couple in the club too, is last Saturday, 84 times five required an inform informs started to go up. They went to 34 K the Saturday before that 83 times 10, they started to go up as well. So Try to get on some informs, at least stock a couple in the club. Um, because also, if you're using a lot of 82s and 83s and 84s um, in you know those pack SBCs for like the 83 pluses, you're not going to want to put that content or those cards into an 83 plus team of the week. That's another reason that 82s, 83s are going to go up a little bit more this week is because people are going to be doing this to get team of the weeks more often if they're required in those 83 plus or 85 plus packs. So there's a reason to invest in team of the week. Get some in your club. There's a reason to invest in the lower tier fodder as well. And just like I did last week, I still think that with the Eusebio that is out, with the um, Hullet that is out, the Zidane that is out, great icon of species, a play of the month, Mbappe, for goodness sakes, is still in this game. I like the 90s. I mean, I like the 91s because last week these guys had the biggest rise and this week looks to be about the same. Maybe a few less people doing SBCs, but the fact that KDB went from 80K to 69K in one day, I think KDB is going to end up going back up to probably around maybe not 80K again, but I could see him at like 77 to 78K and if you can get him on bid for like 68 to 69, that's a really good price with all the SBCs that are out. In my opinion, that's a really safe investment as well. So whichever way you want to go this week, make sure you get some fodder stocked up in the club because of what is coming soon. Now, that's a lot to talk about fodder, but I think it's very necessary. And that's why I wanted to spend time talking about it. And I won't bug you about it as much for the rest of this week. Right. Let's talk about the rest of the content that could be coming today. Guys, we know what happens on the weekends. We get evolutions. And we started yesterday with an Evo. So what's happening today? We're getting another Evo, right? I think we have to be. Now, there's still a couple things roaming around. There's obviously this big icon upgrade Evo. And if this does come out again, I think it's going to be mid, but it's a 200 K paid Evo and it's probably going to impact the market a little bit. I think people would go out and spend 200 K on some of these icons or maybe already having an icon in the club. Um, I think most people, especially casuals that play this game, if you pack an icon and an icon pack, a lot of people maybe don't even see that as an option for fodder. As some of us do, they're like, oh, this is just an 88 rated card instead of an actual icon, right? So I think a decent amount of people have these cards in their clubs because everybody loves icon packs, right? So uh, somebody seeing that they could actually evolve one of their icons might be very interested in that, try to get the coins, try to get the FC points, but it could impact the market a little bit. So it's either this Evo today or it would potentially be the um that there's rumors of a bronze one man and i don't know if that's true or not but it would be timely because the growth spurt evo goes away tomorrow so if there's a bronze evo coming that would kind of replace like this is the only evo right now that takes somebody low rated and makes them go crazy right like stacked from a 75 to an 88 is crazy so i still have to figure out who i'm putting in this i've got a couple ideas um but yeah make sure that's less last call for growth spurt by the way as well um i did like a rock yesterday and i did Oh, I just put one. I just spent 75,000 coins on McKenny. So I took out half of the coins that I made today on flips on an evolution. This guy's going to be cracked in the end with the quick step with the 89 physical and stuff like that. But 
Um, yeah, so that's kind of the evolution content that could be coming today. I do expect one because, again, the weekends have been all about evolutions. And then we still have some SBCs to look forward to, one of which would be another icon SBC that could garner some hype. Ashley Cole. I know you might be like, Nate, it's another left back. I got so many of them. I don't need him. This card, uh, people say, is cracked. And uh, especially when he came out ver um, versus his base icon card, which is like 100-something K, this card has been like seven to 800,000 coins. He's a cracked left back. If his SBC comes in anywhere near five to 600K, that's going to be a card that I think a decent amount of people would want to craft. And it also would be another icon SBC that you could put on your list to craft if you have any interest during team of the year. So we still have Maldini, Zidane, Eusebio, uh, you know, all these cards from Winter Wild Cards that most people don't find too much interest in. We got Hullet here for 40 days, and we're adding Ashley Cole to the list as well. That's happening sometime this weekend, whether it's today, whether it's tomorrow. Again, that was on the EA content tweet, right? That Centurion's car design, which we do believe was meant to be a Centurion's icon since they also said it was going to be an icon SBC. Other than that, I mean, we don't really have any other leagues for an SBC player. I do believe there will be one today. You might be wondering, just as I am, where in the world is Danny Welbeck? Where is this guy's SBC at? EA's been saying we're getting a flashback. We got an end of an era. We didn't even get a flashback Welbeck. So I don't know what happened there. If they didn't want to drop it or what's going on. If they changed their minds or something, guys, I, I genuinely have no idea. But what I would tell you is watch out for a player SBC today, whether it is, um, you know, versus fire ice related which i don't think it would be or whether it's a flashback or maybe the icon sbc i think we'll get something today for sure on this game and also the alex tellers is really throwing me off right now i really hope that i have an alex tellers in my club because if i do then i should be getting compensation man because that's on the loading screen and that is here in game and he is definitely not in packs because i i searched alex tellers special card and there was nothing there and that center mid alex tellers kind of looks tasty Looks like a nice card is did i search enough i did I, I don't have it in the club maybe i should uh he's a non-rare right maybe i should go open some gold upgrades and see um if i can pack not gold upgrades like the daily gold upgrade this one right so i can pack a non-rare tellers and get compensated with the promo card <laughs> it's probably a little bit of a stretch but yeah watch out for more store packs today again as we looked at um there are a lot of crazy store packs that are in the code i actually want to show you guys one more that was added yesterday that is also pretty crazy elite kinetic encore pack um yeah actually we need to talk about this really fast to end off the video because this is nuts it includes not one two three four but five promo cards from team of the group stage dynasties radioactive thunderstruck also including champions league heroes and icons from any of those promos so thunderstruck icons would be included in this and so would dynasties icons that's a crazy pack five guaranteed promo cards or icons with one of which sorry can't speak with one of which to be 88 rated or higher and then also in the pack 87 times 11 maybe we wait to buy the 90s until after this pack drops i don't know because that is crazy man and whenever they dropped the 88 times 11 pack last week that made some of that higher rated fodder come out as well and and actually dip a little in price and the 88 times 11 i do not believe is in the store right now we got the 500k which is the um, 388 or above, which is 84 times 47. And then we have the five times 87 plus, which is the 83 times 70, but we don't have, we don't have that. And that is a disgusting pack. That might be the most expensive pack we've ever seen in the store. It might break the 600 K barrier. It might be 700, 750 K. Cause that is an 87 times 11 with five guaranteed promo cards, including the heroes and icons. That's crazy. So watch out for a pack of those capabilities on the market today as well we'll see man we'll see i'm gonna be probably off the game a lot today apart from maybe doing a little bit of squad battle so i won't be on too much maybe we'll trade a little bit on the market but get those last minute investments in stock that club which is what i'm gonna do here uh, in just a minute make sure i get my 83s 84s stocked and ready to go for all the sbcs and i think i would officially say that my team of your pack save is now started i have zero packs but uh we are going to start our team of your pack save guys um, with anything that is good. Like I'm going to open, you know, like the 75 plus player picks. Now nah, I'm going to open that, but you get this 86 double from the elite versus, uh, not the elite, the versus daily play. That's definitely going to be saved. Maybe even the 83, three and the 83 times twos. We'll think about saving as well. So that is going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy smash thumbs up on a comment below, if you have any questions and subscribe, if you're new, good luck on your weekend leagues as well. If you're grinding those this weekend for those packs and picks, and I'll see you guys in video tomorrow. It's been native account. Catch you guys there. Peace.